Hey everybody, welcome back to Matthew Kelly Pottery. I hope you are doing well and welcome to 2021. That's right, today for me is January 1st, 2021. And that also means by default that yesterday was December 31st, 2020. I bet you knew that, but you may not have known or may not have thought about the fact that today, January 1st, 2021, not only started a brand new year, it started a brand new decade. And so that's right, we're done with the old decade, we're done with the last year, and we're starting a brand new one. But that also means that I can say welcome to One Piece, Two Decades in the Making. Let's go. For those of you who have been here any length of time, you've probably seen me do this before, but I'm going to make a two-part vase. I'm making the top part right now today, January 1st, 2021, in a brand new decade. Yesterday, in the last decade, I made the bottom of this vase here, and uh, I decided yesterday that I wanted to do something special for the new year, and then it came to mind that it's starting a brand new decade, and I said, you know what, I can make one piece in two different decades if I do the bottom today and I do the top tomorrow. So that's what we're doing. One, pay, one piece, two decades in the making. So here's the first piece made last decade. Here's the second piece getting ready to be made today. And we're going to throw the top and put it on that vase there and, uh, and make a really nice vase. And here's the other special part of this one. This is piece number one for wood firing number four. So we got all kinds of goodness crammed into this one video. I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the year. I've got so much crammed into one video, but we're going to make it happen. So uh, here we go. I've already measured the top of this with my calipers so I can have those set so I know how wide to make this and that it's gonna, uh, when I make the, 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 the piece that I'm gonna put on top here, if you haven't been here for a while, you'll, uh, uh, I'll tell you that I'm making the top of this with a, with a, with a, a U shape and that shape is actually gonna go down over the top on, on the outside of this rim and on the inside of the rim. So it's kind of going to curve down over and I'm going to attach it on the inside and the outside uh, of the rim of that pot there. And so uh, I didn't I didn't weigh the amount of clay that was in that or in this. Uh, I'm trying a new clay and so I just wedged it up by hand and uh, we're getting started here throwing this piece. And because we're making a top to this piece here, I'm actually going to open this up all the way down to the bat or the wheel head. And then open it up. It's just going to be a cylinder without a bottom. And I'm actually throwing this upside down. Or the piece that I'm throwing will be flipped over and turned over on top of that. I'm not actually upside down. Although that's an idea. Maybe we'll throw some pots upside down this year. <laughs> And I'm not going to worry about pulling this to the most, uh, get all the clay out of it I can. I'm just going to pull it up a little bit, get some of the uh, thickness pulled out of it, and then leave the top thick here so that I can separate that to go over the rim. All right, now that I have the, the top made, I'm gonna put the bottom back on the wheel. And it should still be centered because I left it on the bat that I threw it on. I did leave it, uh, it wasn't perfectly centered on the top when I finished it yesterday, but uh, put it back on here. I'm gonna wet this just ever so slightly on the top. But I left it uncovered last night with the heat off here in my workshop so that it could dry but not dry too much. So the top dried pretty well, it's, it's fairly stiff and the bottom's still a little bit soft but it's stiff enough that it can hold itself and hold a little bit of extra weight on top. So I wet that, now I'm going to take this and uh, I'm just going to wet that a little bit more. 
take this, flip it over on top, and set it down on there. Now I'm going to spin it and just kind of hold my hand to see if it's running evenly. It's not, so I'm going to just adjust that just a little bit. That's why I like a little bit of water on there so that if I need to adjust it, it will scooch just a little bit. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to clean off the bat there so that I can then grab a wire. And I'm going to cut this loose using it, my chest as the what I'm pulling against when I pull that wire. There we go. And now I should be able to start off by smoothing off, uh, smoothing up this top part here, which was the bottom, so that as I'm throwing the rest of it, my arm doesn't catch on the, the dry roughness that's there. Trapped a little bit of air in there. You can see the bubble going around, but I think I can fix that fairly easily. Well, there we have it one piece two decades in the making first time in my life I've ever done that made the bottom piece in the last decade made the top piece in this decade and it will be uh, uh, piece number one for wood firing number four as well like I said a whole lot crammed into this one video I know I didn't talk as much as I do in most of my videos uh, some of you probably enjoyed that uh, but that's all right and for those of you who look forward to more talking we got all year to talk so uh, we'll, uh, you can look forward to that for sure uh, but anyway, I appreciate all of your support, all of you who uh, support me on Patreon. I really appreciate you. Uh, if you're interested in any of those details, links in the description. And for those of you who just uh, enjoy watching, commenting, and uh, giving me uh, uh, rave reviews and thumbs up on all the videos, I appreciate you and appreciate your support. And uh, any, any input on what you would like to see in 2021 is awesome. Uh, I got plenty of things in mind, but uh, if any of you have anything you would like to see, definitely let me know and I'll see if we can fit it in. So anyway, like I said, thank you all for your support. I really appreciate you. I hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, 2021, baby. Let's go.